just like to make people smile. Try your luck betting on Jade? Well, got polluted. Uh, uh, that stretch Honey, feels good. Honey, just call me Betty. Oh, what should I try this time? I just like to make people smile. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Try your luck betting on Jade? Quan, I want a new toy. I, I, I wasn't waiting for you. I just happened to be resting. Oh. What should I try this time? I just like to make I people can't smile. Well, got polluted. Adventurer. <laughs> 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 try your luck betting on Jade. Hmm, Lizard Tail, Pepper, Star Conch. Hmm, what else do I need to create the most dreadfully disgusting cocktail? Just what will we come across this time? Those memories, so dark. Yeah! <sighs> 
The damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Jade Chamber! Since we want to go to the Jade Chamber, heading to its location on the map is the sensible thing to do. Let's look around. There has to be a way up there nearby. Halt! Who trespasses on these hallowed grounds? Exactly. We're invited again. No. Wait. She pretended to invite us to the Jade Chamber. Ugh. What? We're just... What nonsense? Well, here... Let me weave you a verse. Solidify. 
fortify. Attack. Stop. What's all this about? Lady Cutching, these two strange people suddenly. Who are you calling strange? Hmm? You are. We're invited guests here to look for the Lyra Chising. <laughs> well, as it happens, I. Oh! I'm Kuching, the Yuhung of the Chising. I know of you, traveler. You're Ningguang's guests, yes? Wow. Pun the Guizhong Ballista in Tianhung Pass has long been in disrepair. And yet, these Millilith are just here to guard the scene, not to arrest anyone. So, this was all a misunderstanding? Baimon never. Anyway, for a mortal to be able to repair an Adepti mechanism is quite the mystery. Uh, that one. Eh? Oh, right. Might you have any idea why Lady Tianquan invited us to go to the Jade Chamber? Just call me Kuching. I'd say that Ningguang's purpose is to request that the savior of Mondstadt take a more neutral stance. Or at least, to not wholly side with the Adepti. We're not taking sides. We spoke with the Adepti. They want to protect Liu as well. When you say protect, you're referring to their sanctimonious arrogance, aren't you? Huh? You are mortals and thus under their protection. There was no way they would have regarded you as someone with the ability to assassinate a god. Naturally, they would also regard Ningguang's locking down the area, questioning the citizenry, and pursuit of the assassin to be pointless work. Perhaps they even wonder if there might be a cover-up. I'll say it like it is. They're underestimating us. Well, you've got a point there. Still... This is the first time Paimon's seen a person from Liyue who doesn't respect the gods or the Adepti. <laughs> Should I respect the shallow sense of time and condescension to mortals that has caused them to delay in moving against us, Chising? Forget it. I shouldn't speak of them this way. This skepticism is mine alone, and Ningguang does not share it. Either way, I will admit that the actions of the Adepti this time were quite restrained. Rex Lapis's death is indeed an extraordinary circumstance. But to think that they would call for a council of Adepti rather than come down here directly. How surprisingly civilized of them. Well, for Ningguang, the time of the Adept... <sighs> You should both be off to the Jade Chamber. Don't be late now. Ningguang's the cream of Li was favor. But, but wait, that's right. Green. All right, all right. You can decide on your. You didn't actually have. Well then, may we meet again, traveler? Well, that Yuhang may not respect the gods, but Paimon thinks she's a pretty cool person. So, what should we... Oh, right! Paimon dreamed of an amazing snack last night! Sugar-frosted slime! Paimon has a feeling that it would be perfect for a super-rich person like Ning... Why don't we go with that for a gift? Nope! But let's go gather in green... Order guide you.
worthless. Ooh, look at that sign. It looks crystal clear. And very delicious. That's the one. The hunter becomes the hunted. <sighs> Thank you for your. Oh, I was. <laughs> uh, I understand. Don't say that. I'm Mung Dan. I never expected that those. Is there anything that you lack? Uh, and. Wait a moment. Oh? Do you have a box that can store. Of course we do. Now just give me a moment. And... Great! Boring. Stuck, but we have some new items in. This palace floats in the skies, higher than the peak of any mountain. From this vantage point, one may survey all of Liyue. I have been gathering the funds necessary to build it from the time I began learning the merchant's craft. And since becoming the Tianjin, I have spared no effort in hiring the best craftsmen to constantly ex- At first, it was but the side. One day, I believe it will overshadow all seven nations. Not many from outside. As such, I have been putting eyes and ears out ever since you reached Liyue. What? And I finally got wind of your movements when you were on the way to Wangshu Inn. Uh, wait! Was Vergildet one of your people? <laughs> Just Vergildet? No. Everyone at Wangshu Inn is one of ours. Hmm. At the Guizhang Ballista, yes? Uh, you weren't peeking on us from the skies, though. <laughs> I... Our eyes and ears are more than sufficient. You two are very interesting people, after all. It would be natural to take an interest. Well, I wouldn't expect you to trust us, considering that you have had far more interactions with...
Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? I believe that you've heard of the Archon War. Many gods used to walk this earth, and many long wars were fought between them that did not abate until 2,000 years ago. Much blood was shed, and many lives were lost. In the end, only seven victors remained standing in Tevat. They built cities and nations on the corpses of the vanquished, and thus began the era of the Seven. You can see Goyun Stone Forest from here, I trust. It is no natural rock formation. Those are giant spears of rock hurled by Rex Lapis during the war. Beneath the spears lie those cast down by Rex Lapis in those days, Gods that failed to seize the title of Archon. Not only is it true that gods may die, but so too has the membership of the Seven changed over the last two millennia. Rex Lapis's passing is an unimaginable disaster for Liyue, but the Order of the Seven will not collapse simply because of that. Another Lord of Geo will arise sooner or later. Yet, how are we to forget Rex Lapis? When that time comes, the relationship between the people of Liyue and the gods and Adepti will surely be different from before. Even in a new era, the Liyue Qixing remain Rex Lapis's former subjects. Do you really think us capable of having played a part in his demise? Of lacking the foresight to see the certain repercussions? That day at Yujing Terrace, it was also very sudden. Even I was caught completely off guard. You were there, you no doubt saw. But our enemy has long lain hidden within the harbor. If we do not act against them now, they will surely gain the upper hand. Hiding the Exuvia was a- Who's this enemy you're talking about? What do you think, Traveler? Well answered. Uh, uh huh? <sighs> the scenery.
Be at ease, you two. Make yourselves at home if you wish. I have invited you two here as friends. Uh, Why, you've kept- That's because even the storm- That's because that wall records Leo's secrets. Merchants have always been attracted to secrets. But the secrets of the mercantile world, if possible, I'd like to have your... T but if you were to choose the more... T <laughs> You'd pick Kuching? Nah, I had a feeling. I originally thought her a bit too hard-headed. With someone of her character on the chasing, I've had some extra messes to clean up behind the scenes. But after she said those words, the time of the Adepti has long passed. If even the Liyue chasing don't want to face that truth, then what future is there for Liyue? Well, I must say that quite a few of my doubts have been dispelled. I won't deny that Rex Lapis's passing seems advantageous to us. But, for Liyue's sake, we cannot allow ourselves to be shackled by rumors of our usurpation of power. Indeed. It seems that you understood what I meant to say from the very beginning. I called for the gag order and for the Exuvia to be hidden to temporarily stabilize the situation, and also to prevent something s With Rex Lapis's death, the Fatui have busied themselves with many clandestine actions beyond their diplomatic remit. As the t Allowing the right of party- <sighs> It's a s Wait, that's right! Speaking of ends, could I say one other thing? Of course. Diamond's heard that anyone who sends a greeting gift gets a little something. <laughs> it's all right. Well, we have. Yay! Paima was just waiting for. <gasps> One of the sheets on that wall. Don't look at Paima. Just imagine. Let's grab one. The biggest one. Well, that was an easy search. The biggest sheet is right up there in the most obvious spot. Let's go with that. La 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 la. Let's see what's. Huh? There's a place marked with a circle on here. <gasps> oh, could it be treasure? Whatever it is, it better. Sigil of permission, something, something, fatui, research, copy. Aw, oh, that doesn't sound like treasure at all. <gasps> This piece of paper shows that a chasing spy discovered trace. Oh, Mingguang did a research on the sigil of permission. Speaking of which, there's also some connection between you and the sigil of permission. Oh, you really think so? Well, should we? Oh, so you're sick? Hmm. Mm, anyway, we'll see if you're on. Um, before we look for you. So, you don't have to- Afterwards, why not sit down for a while in the Jade Chamber? Or have it come now? Sorry, anything business related is confidential.
Stabilize! Right on time. I myself only arrived moments ago. Did you enjoy your visit to the Jade Chamber? It was so big and pretty and 
and expensive? Paimon's never seen such a fancy schmancy place. Indeed. It's second to none in all of Liyue. Then you met with Ningguang, I trust? What? She's super rich and so generous. Yeah, his take on... Oh. So you also met with Kuching, then? What did she have to say? She said the time of the... <laughs> no respect. Indeed, contrary to the... Although she's friendly, there's no way of clearly discerning her true intentions. Yes, she is... It said that she's the one behind the con... The Jade Chamber is only second. Why, Mora, of course. All Ningguang talked about... That is how the Fatui have always been. Hmm... No matter what they... So, is there anything we need to get for the right of... Yes, as a matter of fact, there is. Today, we'll be gathering wild glaze lilies. Glaze lilies? But why did we come all the way out here? Doesn't the garden in Yujing Terrace have some? Even Qingsa Village has glaze lilies. Oh, right! Paima remembers that Madame Ping is always tending to flowers. Maybe we could ask her. No. Those lilies have all been gardened by people. They won't do at all. Dihua Marsh used to be full of glaze lilies. It is a sort of joyful flower that listens to human song. Before the Archon War, Dihua Marsh was all dry land and fertile soil. But the war caused landslides, and the land was flooded, turning it into the marsh you see now. Nearly all the glaze lilies were wiped out. Of course, there are some kinds of flowers that have been preserved and gardened by people in the city. But very few people know that glaze lilies may still be found in the wild. Wild glaze lilies have the strongest fragrance. If we want to follow the true tradition of the rite of parting, we must grind up the wild lilies and place the powder in a censer of everlasting incense. But I'll need your assistance in gathering these flowers. <laughs> That's cr uh, So how good is your singing? Really? We'll only know one <sighs> It's time to sing whenever you're ready. Da 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 What happened? These flowers are jumping! They look really angry! Is it because you sang a song for Mon's dad that they don't understand here in Leo? Evil conquering! Worthless! <laughs> Worthless! Those weren't glaze lilies. Glaze lilies wouldn't hit people. This little monster is known as a whopper flower. Hmm. Strange. The glaze lilies used as a disguise were buried with the whopper flower for too long. The result seems to have surprisingly potent medicinal value. Let's collect what we can of these petals. Well, that's not... Unfortunately, no. Uh, that's so... Excuse me. Are you searching for glaze lilies? Oh! Hello. 
Hello, traveler. I'm surprised you still remember my name. Ah, oh, that reminds me. Well, it sure would have been better if you told us how to get up there. Didn't I tell you the way? Nope. We found the way on our own. Oh, I see. Uh-oh. Huh. So she's acting different from... Ah, oh, well, I met you at that time as an emissary of the Tianquan. But now, I am simply out on a stroll to see the... You came all the way out here to see the... <sighs> Yujing Terrace is where Rex Lapis part whenever my duties t Oh... No, it's quite all right. I just haven't processed my... When the Archon War came to its end 2,000 years ago, the first... It yes. Now that the spirit of Rex Lapis has returned to the heavens, only Barbados of Mondstadt remains of the first seven. The other five, including Inazuma's Raiden Shogun, are no longer the same friends from 2,000 years ago. Of the current seven Archons, the youngest is Sumeru's god of Dendro. He is merely 500 years old, whereas Rex Lapis was more than 6,000 years old at the time of his passing. This means that Liyue had been under Rex Lapis's rule from the moment it was first founded 3,700 years ago. The city has never had to bid farewell to its deity. So what do you think of this? Huh? As a mortal... But as an adeptus... Huh? D yes, I... I am a... Mi After the war ended, I signed a contract with Rex Lapis and took the position as secretary for the Chising. I've continued those duties to this very day. Well, uh... Let's save that conversation for another day. You say... I also know where wild... <laughs> we dare not re... Oh, so did you sing... Indeed. I did. Wow, so you really know your stuff? No, it is you who I should... If you would excuse me. And that just about... Given the ease of picking glaze lilies... Yeah, Paimon can already imagine him... <laughs> I've had enough ventures in my life already. Beginning a new undertaking is always difficult at first, and requires no small amount of effort. So you must be careful. Wow. See? Jolly sounds like he's already seen... All right. I think it's about time we head back to Leo at Harbor now. Stabilize. Yeah. You're the consultant to Wongsheng Funeral Parlor. The Millilith are watching our desperate times. The Adepti of Joyun Kars. Do they intend to exercise for Most likely. However, both sides were... It seems inevitable. The Adepti do not acknowledge the Chi Seng. They only acknowledge the... Surely the Liu Chi Seng. <laughs> Their boneheadedness is known throughout the lands. Yet it's be... And what now? How is it that the Fatui have come under... F uh. That's all. She proclaimed that in these... Only now do they want... Anyway, Mr... It looks like things are about to boil over in Liyue Harbor. Do you intend to use... Neither path is any... Oh, by the way, Mr. Zhongli. Things are taking a turn. I'm afraid I must leave now. Consider your next course. <sighs> so what does Zhongli mean by looking for the fuse? Oh, Paimon gets it. He must be waiting for the... But where could we find him now? Where would he go at a time like this?
useless. The golden house? It looked impressive enough. This is where all of Tabat's mora is minted, right? In the oh, so it's a trap! Tricky, tricky. Good thing Paimon's got you here. But even if we can't take any, we can... S or better yet, take a nap on top of a mountain of mora. It's like a dream come true. Oh, right. Back to business. It's quiet, huh? Look! What happened here? Uh-oh! Quick! We have to go... You've already fulfilled your task as guides. Huh? Who's there? <sighs> if you were Fatui, I imagine that you would be entitled to a generous reward from the Tsaritsa herself. But now, you're nothing but dross, and you're in my way. <laughs> Although I'm deeply grateful to you that I was able to effortlessly fu- Don't you think that trying to stop me now would just be- <laughs> Stop it- So you've been planning to take- <laughs> As one of the uh, she will get that which she desires. <laughs> I'm not the time for discussion and dipl- Either way, we now come to my- The battle. Battle? S- <laughs> You- <laughs> When- Instead of confronting you- When she faces a worthy- But as for me- We won't let what happen- <laughs> Oh, so you and- Besides, you could never def- <laughs> Fighting talk, I- This chance is hard to come by, so show me all you've got. So very few ever get the chance to square off with a Fatui Harbinger. So come now, amuse me, and don't you dare disappoint. You've made some progress. Not bad. You've got a tr <laughs> Good. No wonder Senora was so wary of you. Well, that just means I can go all out. Brace yourself. This is about to get tough. Now, show me what you can do against the might of a Harbin. <laughs> Not bad. Your swordsmanship is quite impressive. But that's about as far as you'll get. <laughs> Didn't think you had that card hidden up your sleeve. You were just playing and getting close to the Exodia. Oh, quiet down. Stop acting like some wide-eyed recruit. You've seen this world. You of all people should know. This should have been expected. <laughs> well then, I'll be 
taking Morax's gnosis now. Huh? <laughs> I see. Well, this is most unexpected. You... You beat me to it, didn't you? <laughs> seems the burden of the foul legacy transformation was too great and now that i consider you had no connection to that's what we've been trying your show of ability today far surpasses you already know the answer but if that is a secret you wish to keep i guess this battle is already anyone who strives is pretty sure that's unfortunately given that the gnosis was in fact what so you mean that yes it appears so interesting to say the least it seems that the guardian deity of the capital of commerce is also well versed in little maneuvers beyond the boundaries of contract. As such, backup plan? I had hoped it would never. The truth is, unfortunately. So what are you planning to? I will awaken the god. A god? Osile. Oh, if such an ancient. Do you think the cunning Rex? But the Archon War and. Simple. I've already prepared the means to awaken it. Hey. Joseph from Oh, Paimon remembers now. The Fatui have been researching them. Indeed. The one that was given to you was just a byproduct of our research. With the power of so many sigils of permission concentrated in one place, along with that which was bestowed upon me as a harbinger by our Tsaritsa, breaking the subduing might of the Geo Archon Spears for a time should be no obstacle. Using the powers of it, but knowing that such an... Let's see. Will the nation that has lost its deity be swallowed up by an ancient malice once more? If you wish to drown together with the people of Lyra, you're free to stay and enjoy the show.
If we hadn't happened to see the Jade Chamber flying over just as we came out of the Golden House, we really wouldn't have known which way to go. <sighs> Did we make it? What are you doing here? Huh? Hold on. It's the Adept Guy. What are you doing on the Jade Chamber? Faced with a calamity. <laughs> oh, Paimon gets eh. Just seeing this Overlord of the Vortex Guy puts a pit in Paimon's tummy. It's not just you. We've got new Millilith recruits who can't even stand at attention without shaking. The force of an ancient god's presence seems to be too much for ordinary people to handle. Which is why we must stop that monster before it gets any closer to Liyue Harbor. So the Archon War was fought 2,000 years ago against enemies like that thing? Now that's scary. <sighs> So will the power of the Cheesing, Millilith, and Adepti gathered here be enough to stop that god? We've already discussed this together, and our conclusion is... not necessarily. What? But all of you are supposed to be the Guardians of Lilith! Can't you think of something? One certainly could. Huh? The Chi Sing did once research the matter of the Guizhong Ballista when it piqued their fancy. And as fate would have it, one who did craft the Guizhong Ballista with one's own hands is here. For what could you mortals ever learn of Adepti mechanisms? Yet it would take one but a little tinkering to turn this Ballista into an engine of war beyond your wildest thoughts. <laughs> I suppose this is one blessing from the Adepti that we should be thankful for. So be it. We shall use the upgraded Guizhong Ballista to fight off that god. All the Adepti here can lend their strength to man it. We haven't a moment to spare. Our battle begin- Yep. The three Adepti are manning the Guizhong Ballista. Do not let the Fatui disturb their work. All able Millilith, with me! Let's go help too! We Adepti have not faced a god in several millennia. Let one see what you are made of then. What strength remains within you, one wishes to witness. Stabilize! Is Osile's divine power. I am very familiar with it. Be careful not to get hit. Gather! Ha! The Fatui! Their attacks are unreal! 
unrelenting! Huh. How daring. Smetnai's diplomats will answer for this afterward. Every last one! I will have order. The ancient gods attack me again. There are so many victory teams. We can't look. <laughs> Were you about to say we can't hold them, children? <laughs> Don't lose heart. Here, take this. This is adeptal energy. That light from your body, it's like the time in Julian Cars! Whoa! It's a Madame King shockwave! This green is really strong! Looks like I... For No fighting I do hear... body and spirit. Uh, perhaps you can withstand three forms of adeptal energy at once. This will hurt a little. Please bear with us. Once you've adapted, try to use them in battle. are no more. Now we may commit ourselves fully. Ha <laughs> 
Be careful now. The Guizhong Ballista is destroyed. Huh? Without its covering fire, retaliation shall be difficult. But the Jade Chamber is our last line of defense. We can't give another inch, no matter what. I have another idea. Uh, what do you mean, Lady Ningguang? I'll sacrifice the Jade Chamber. What is the meaning of this? I understand. Traveler, lend me a hand. Farewell, old friend. Goodbye for now. Let us meet again in the future. Is it finally over? The ominous aura of that monster has indeed begun to fade. The effects of the sigil of permission last but a short time. It will be some time before the Overlord of the Vortex can make any waves again. We are indebted to you for your assistance. If the Adepti hadn't happened to be here, the future of... Save your flag. Come now. There's no need for such harsh words, Cloud Retainer. I... Hmm. I mean no offense. I simply hope that our Adepti forebearers would see Liyue in a new light. <laughs> forebearers, you say? One doubts you would be fit to be part of such a lineage. This morning, Rex Lapis appeared to me in a dream. What? In the dream? I... I also thought to tell him. But I dare. Oh, Ningguang. Yet another perspective. What are you trying to say, Outlander? Right. That's what the animal archon sought to quell the strife between. Each of the seven nations has its own- Though your point is the very height of- As Adepti, we've become- All right, all right. I apologize for appearing in full armor. I am- And who are you? I am Feng Yan. I, I thought this battle would perhaps- Although I am a mere- Hmm. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Weren't you frightened? I wasn't afraid. When danger is near- Thanks for protecting Liyue Harbor. Please, come visit us for the next Lantern Rite! Unfortunately, we wouldn't be able to- Huh? Because we are Adepti. Oh. You see, this the country of contra- Although their blood is the time of contracts between God- Hmm. Seeing the port around us now, it is- Your line of inquiry is askew. Hmm. Seems like the Adepti have had a change of heart. Let us return now. Eager to leave, Conqueror of Demons. <laughs> yes, one understands what the Conqueror of Demons means. But one fears that by the time one finds... Fair enough. Oh. Hmm. 
since we adept that, but how will we ensure? <laughs> All right, Moon Carver, you needn't worry. It seems to me that this right. <gasps> Looks like the conflict between humans and Adepti. Oh, right! It's Child wanted to unleash the god, but we were able to hit. Oh, and speaking of that. Hyman doesn't get it. But isn't the strongest lead we have the Adepti right of parting? That we're organizing? No idea where Young. at Wang Shem Funeral Parlor. Is there anything I can do for you to- We've come to see Zhongli! Could Unfortunately, Zhongli isn't here at- Doesn't the Northland Bank belong to the- Last time we saw Zhongli was before we went to- Do you think he doesn't know- We had better go and- You call this cooperation between Harbinger? <laughs> Don't take it to heart, child. Oh, it seems that some of you. Hey, it's Zhang Li. <laughs> ah, right. Well, if it isn't you two, this is our first time seeing each other since. Oh, now don't say that. Besides, I thought we were getting along quite well. To Nothing personal. We just have the real deceivers here are Senora and Zhang Li. Curse them. So actually, I think. Stop wasting time, child. They'll you remember the agreement, Morax. Now, if you would be so kind. What in the world are you talking about? <sighs> the contract is fulfilled. That which thou seeketh is now. Sanctimonious. What? So you're the Lord of... No, wait! I do not give it for free. I give it as agreed upon in the contract. For it is a matter solely between the Tsaritsa and I. Yeah, you don't think you would... <laughs> wait, what? Perhaps it's best that I... As you know, I... Even boulders that can withstand whirlpools will erode with the passing of time. I kept convincing myself that cracks had not begun to form and that the end of my time had not yet come until one drizzly day. As I was strolling along the harbor, I heard a merchant tell one of his workers, you finished your duties. Go ahead and call it a day. I stood motionless among the crowds Asking myself, have I already finished my duties? Oh, Zhang Li. But as I began to consider relinquishing my divine role, I soon discovered that many reasons still remained to not hastily depart. Was Liyue, the city I had dwelt in for so long, 
already prepared to enter its next age? I decided that a test was needed in order to reveal the answer. So I feigned my own death and gathered the cast of Child, the Adepti, and the Liu Achising to play their roles together on the stage that was Liu. Indeed I was, that's right. Which is why I continued to safeguard the Gnosis until now. So you mean that if the Chaos ever reached the point of no return, you would simply appear and use your divine powers to bring Lilith back under control? Of course, and it would have been all too easy for him too. Just as a child quickly matures after losing their parents, so has Liu matured when faced with the death of its deity. I was pleasantly surprised with the finale of the show that you all put on. Why, you even deserved an encore. I expected them to do no more than the Adepti, to come to the defense of Liu. But when all was said and done, they seized the opportunity to supplant Liu as divine protectors, and used the subsequent power vacuum left by my death to quickly gain complete control of Liu. Huh? That doesn't sound good at all! <laughs> On the contrary, I think it is excellent. I had always feared that it was too soon for them to take over from me. And it was also that which I longed for the most. As such, this is the best parting gift anyone could have given this god of old. Hey, what about me? Doesn't anyone feel the least bit of remorse for deceiving me? You've practically kept me in the dark! <laughs> I think that thanks would be more appropriate. You certainly played no small part in all of this. Wreaking havoc and turning the city upside down. The Lord of Geo ought to thank you for your performance, if anything. If you hadn't created the pressure of a battle between mortals, Adepti, and a god, the lump of coal resting in the hands of the Geo Archon, Liu, would never have been able to become a dazzling diamond of a city. Huh? Just whose side are you on, mocking me like that? Are you itching for a fight? Hey! Haven't you learned the Liu is saying, don't always call it as you see it? <laughs> well then, with the Gnosis in my possession, I have no use for such idle chatter. We should return to Zapoljarni Palace and seek an Audi- Ah, fine. I'll meet you there later. I'm not sharing a boat with the- <laughs> Do as you wish. Now then. Is there anything else you wish to ask me? Right! As Zhang Li always told us, a good trade is a fair trade. Paimon has no idea what could be a good trade for a Gnosis. Realistically speaking, there is no such thing. Huh? However, I am the god of contracts. For thousands of years, I have made countless contracts. If the deal was of no benefit, then I certainly would not be inclined to agree to it. My agreement with the Cryo Archon will be the last of my contracts as the Geo Archon. My contract to end all contracts. As for the bargaining chip that the Tsaritsa used to balance the scales, uncover that answer for yourself in your future journeys. One of... Uh. Paimon can't absorb so youngly. One of the clauses of our... Uh.
today's the day of the rite of parting. Although the star of the show is fake, we spent so much time trying to organize it, it would be a real shame not to go there now. There's only one real pot for Tui. Hmm. Shh. Look. Please be mindful of your personal safety. You know that? Yes. Say. Now that you... I mean it still, what's... Ah, uh, forget... Hear ye all, though a dragon's gods and adept rumors, and here's having been thwarted in his... Nor are they to believe street-born rumors, or indulge in baseless speculation. Translation on what the Chi Sing's announced. <sighs> so that something feels off. Could the Chi Sing or hmm? Did Zhang Li tell them in secret after his gnosis changed hands? Exactly, right? Look, it's Ning Guang and Kuching. Are they saying something? Are their speeches over? As said previously, Rex Lapis' soul returning to the heavens is the end of the contract. 3,700... We, the people of... Long... Mm. Now that we have a... Will you stand with us as... So concludes the words of Her Eminence, the Tian Chuan. Does Her Eminence, the Yu Hung, have any... Huh? Is she looking? Traveler. Yikes! She really is looking up. Is that the traveler who they say so young? The Liyue Qixing always repay their debts. And as you have heard, our eyes see far and our reach is long. Name your price. You deserve. Whoa! Well, could you The cleanup of the premises?
Why you? Were you just if you were looking? <laughs> if you were look. Roping you in was possible. Right. If the two of you can spare the time. Ha! That sounds like big talk. Hmm. You're right. I do like the Mora. As the Rex Lapis Morax, I can easily create Mora. But since I have chosen to walk this earth as the mortal Zhongli, I should abide by the same rules that mortals do. When I was journeying with you, Though I still had the Gnosis in hand, I knew that I must soon retire. That is true. But there is no journey that does not end. No meetings without partings. Hmm. Paimon thinks that we should make a move and continue our search for the- I fear that continuing your journey may be difficult. The nation that neighbors Liyue by sea in Azuma is presently closed. The Electro Archon Ball. And just as the people of Liyue preferred to call me Rex Lapis, she too goes by another name among locals in Inazuma. Um, Paimon thinks we've heard that one before. Uh... That is the case. And since Raiden is also the Shogun of the Inazuma Bakufu, people call her the Raiden Shogun. That said, though people the war for saying that the situation in Inazuma is very tense is all visions within Inazuma's borders and to inlay them upon the hands of a statue of the thousand armed hundred eyed god they want to seize visions but why aren't visions blessings from the gods I should think that in the Raiden Shogun's eyes it is precisely because they are divine blessings that they should be under the sole dominion of divinity all right, then. Was there anything else you wished to know? That's right. Zhongli, now that you don't have your Gnosis, what's going to happen to all the Mora in Tibet? Since Morax is dead, are they all just going to disappear? Also, isn't the Golden House the only mint in the entire continent? Will it even... The Mora present now will not vanish. But the Golden House will indeed have to cease operations for a lengthy period of time, since creating Mora requires the use of the Geo Archon's power. This is terrible! We're all about to run out of Mora! The world is coming to an end! Yes, this is indeed a major issue from a financial standpoint. Uh, well. I suppose we'll just leave such troublesome matters to the Leo Achising to debate. Then, did you at least set some private funds aside for yourself? Oh, a private fund. Hmm. This does seem like a good logical common sense idea. <sighs> it's a shame. What's a shame? It's a shame that I didn't think of it at the time. All right then. Was there anything else you wish to know? Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> that said, I hinted as much. How did I accomplish that? All right then. Was there anything else you wished to know? Well then, I suppose you'll have to find a way to get inside this cloak. I see. Using... Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? Osmanthus wine tastes the same as I remember. But where are those who share the memory? <laughs> 